everyone, my name's the Ragamuffin Man, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new TCG Academy of Arts. Now, Academy of Arts came across my inbox a few months ago now, I think, and I've had a chance to open a booster box. Video should be coming soon. However, first, I thought we would take a look at this brand new game just so we know what to expect. Anyways, before we get into the video, please consider subscribing to this channel if you like all sorts of things, trading card games like new games, news, reviews, deck techs, all sorts of trading card videos. Then make sure to hit the subscribe button and make that little number get a little bit bigger. Anyways, let's get into the video. If you're watching this video, then you're probably new to Academy of Arts, and if that's the case, then welcome. Academy of Arts is a collectible trading card game that is played with two players by alternating turns in order to play cards, make strategic decisions, until you win by reducing your opponent's wizard's health to zero. Academy of Arts has six types of cards, starting with the centerpiece of the game and the card that represents you, the player. Wizards start the game in play and share their life total with you. Wizards also dictate how much initiative you have, which brings us to the next type of card. Reactions are a special type of card that uses your wizard's initiative to perform actions during battle. Artifacts can be used to augment and empower not just your wizard, but in certain cases, all of your cards. But be careful, you can only have one in play at any time. Summons make up the majority of cards and are the primary form of damage. They can be changed with alterations, which permanently attach to a summon upon play. Lastly, spells are single-use effects that range from drawing spells to damaging your opponent directly. You can use any combination of these cards to build a deck from 40 to 80 cards, not including your wizard. Now, in case you're wondering how to play cards, you play cards by paying their mana cost. For the first four turns of the game, you will gain one maximum mana per turn. Then, starting on the fifth turn, you can choose to gain dark or light mana, or just continue with normal mana. After a player chooses light or dark mana, they will continue to gain that type of mana. Cards will tell you how much mana they cost in the top right corner. Cards also have a printed name, card type, rarity, ability, and if it's a summon, strength and health. When a summon reaches zero health, it is placed in the discard pile. Artifacts have a durability instead of a mana cost, which will decrease by one each each turn until it reaches zero, at which point it will be sent to the discard. These cards are played on the field, which is part of the playing area. Your side of the playing area includes a zone for your discard, your grimoire, also known as your deck, your wizard and its artifact, and a place to track your mana. Lastly, both players share a zone called the chain, which is where battles take place. Before we explain how the turn order works, we have to talk about one more thing, and that's status conditions. Status conditions can be applied to either a wizard or a summon. These include everything from burn to charm and affect the inflicted card in different ways. Burn, for instance, will damage the inflicted card by the amount of burn at the start of the turn. Let's go over turn order. Unlike other card games, players share a turn in Academy of Arts and alternate between attacking and defending. You start by having both players draw a card unless it's the first turn, then increase mana and reset initiative. Then, whichever player is the attacker can play cards using their mana. Once they do so, the defender does the same. Following both players getting to play spells during their respective phases, the chain sequence begins. The attacking player can add a summon to the chain in hopes of inflicting damage to the opponent. This creates a link in the chain. The defending player can either add a summon to the link to block it, use a reaction, or both. After any action, the opposite player can add a reaction to the link. Once both players pass, the link is set aside and this process continues until the attacking player is done creating links and the links are resolved starting with the most recent link. Reactions are also resolved per link, starting with the most recently played reaction. As links are resolved, the summons will damage opposing summons within a link, or the defending player if there is no defending summon in said link. If a summon takes enough damage to reduce its health to zero, move it to the discard. So next, let's take a look at an example turn in Academy of Arts. As mentioned on the first turn, neither player draws a card other than their starting hand. We are the attacking player to start, so let's play a kobold for our one mana, but we can also use our wizard's ability to play a second kobold. The other player doesn't seem to have a summon they can play for one mana, but they play an artifact they had in hand and use it to make a token and then they use a spell to draw two cards. Let's attack with our cobalt by adding it to the chain and making a link. Our opponent is adding the token to the link to block out cobalt. Unfortunately, this will kill our cobalt, so let's protect it by reacting with after image so our cobalt lives. Seems like our opponent wants to trade and is using their own reaction to stop ours. We don't have anything else to do in this link, so let's move on and create a second link with our second cobalt. Our opponent doesn't do anything, so let's resolve the chain. The second kobold is the most recent link to be made, so we get to deal one damage to the opposing wizard. 
Now onto the first link, the counter magic will stop our after image, so both summons will deal one damage to each other and kill one another, but at least we get to draw a card when our kobold dies. Now both players will swap the roles of attacker and defender and the chain will empty out. After that, the turn ends and the next one begins. If you have any more questions, you can read more about How to Play Academy of Arts on the official Academy of Arts website under the How to Play tab. Anyways, thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to get subscribed. I love covering brand new TCGs on the channel. I love making how to play guides and like opening brand new products and things like that. So if you like that kind of thing, make sure to stick around for more videos. Anyways, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time.